Welcome back to my classic Fords. Today we're at the my father's place here. We're gonna pull out his 67 Fairlane. We're just getting her uncovered and kind of pull it out of the little home that she's in. We'll go over it and we'll show you. This car is a 101. Um, it's got some pretty unique little features on it. So once we get out of the garage, we'll show you what we got. Right, well let's get a real good look at this car we'll go over it and i'll show you a couple real cool things about it so first things first this car here we got or my father got oh about 10 years or so ago and we went down to the states we picked it up we got this car from a broker who actually got it from the original family that owned it um, we have the documentation to show that we got it from the Pennsylvania Pennsylvania motor vehicles and along with getting it we had to more or less agree to not show you the names but I can certainly show you the paperwork so we'll take a quick look inside and I just want to show how well the chrome is preserved on the dash and that is the original mileage 21,000 right here I mean you can see that the dash is excellent the chrome is not faded nothing's broke the dash pad is in very good shape no cracks or nothing like that the rest of the interior again is unbelievably good I mean, it truly is in excellent shape. In the back seats, here's the seat belts. They are in the original plastic. I can't say no one's never sat back here, but it's certainly not very many people. Uh, what you see laying down that's actually for the convertible top we just didn't unbutton it uh, we'll throw the top down later and show it with that button down and that is an original cover as well that buttons down over the top <clears throat> so right here on the door here's an oil change sticker um i forget which exactly date this is from uh 1994 and it had roughly about 13,000 miles on it then. So as you can tell, it hasn't really gone very far since then. Now this car, it is a survivor car. It hasn't been fixed. Uh, anything that's been done to it, we've tried to do as close to original as possible. Um, but it is the original paint. It has had some touch-ups. But as you can see here, there's no rust along any of the seams. Um, when I get home, I'll show you what a typical 67 Fairlane looks like. Uh, I'll show you what mine looks like in comparison. Uh, this car is just in incredible shape, really. When you look at the bottom of the doors, I mean, they're just, they're really, really good. <clears throat> they're a little dirty. The sills are, look, there's the factory spot welds on the sills. I mean, most cars around here, like in Nova Scotia, within, geez, even five to six years, that stuff's pretty well obsolete. The chrome on this car is in excellent shape. This is the original top. as you see the chrome is really really good no pitting take a quick look under the hood
Another thing to show on the front of this hood, you can see there's hardly any road rash. The chrome's not picked or pitted. I mean, you can see that this car is in fact a low mileage car. There's virtually no damage to the front end from highway use. The chrome is absolutely excellent. Even things like the, the crest, I mean, a lot of those corrode up inside. That one's as clear as a bell. We haven't really touched this at all. This is pretty much the way it comes. This one here has the factory air cleaner the way it should, right down over the manifold. It's had a couple little upgrades. A new, well, I shouldn't say upgrades. We put a new battery in it, put a battery cover on it. Um, one thing to show here, we haven't cleaned under the hood for a long time. We're trying to preserve these chalk marks. So 2067, that was the scheduled production date, which we have on a Kevin Marty report. So as you can see, this car is pretty much virtually untouched. One thing on mine, right about here, this is right on your shock tower, right about here, same as on the other side, right about here, there would have been a hole cut there most people cut a hole in there with a grinder, a torch, so they could access the lower control arms to grease them. This one hasn't been cut, so this is what they should look like. We'll take a look in the trunk here, show a couple things. Again, when you look at the seam of the trunk, I mean, it's just, it's impressive, really. It's impressive up inside. I mean, there's, you know, the factory screw or the bolts that hold the chrome on. There's the jacking instructions, the way they should be. You know, for a car that has not been painted or not been restored, fixed up, this it's in really nice shape. You look inside the quarter panels, you can see the factory. I don't know if that's sound deadening or undercoating, I guess, but when you look on my car, you can clearly see it's been patched and fixed, and this one's just not been touched. And there's the original jack, and we did swap the tires over. We put radials on it. Um, we actually kept the original bias plies, um, but we decided that it would drive a little bit better and handle a little bit better with radials on it. So in here, I have the a copy of the original bill of, or the original um, ownership, and this came from Pennsylvania. Uh, I just covered up the name of the woman that owned it when it was new, but this was. 6767 so there is the title and in here this is where they gifted it over to her daughter this right here this came from ford this is just showing the breakdown of the serial number so this car was actually featured in the fairlaner magazine And here's the article that was written about it. So it shows here basically the same thing I'm trying to show you. Um, this car has very low mileage. Um, we purchased the car July 2008. Um, it shows here the seat belts again are in the original plastic. When we bought it, it had 14,000 miles on it. Um, my father's drove it a bit, you know, he's enjoyed it. And in here, here's the original window sticker. So it shows here, so it is a Fairlane 500 two-door convertible. Special paint. Um, this car was ordered 
with no paint code. So as you see here, it's just simply left blank on the door tag. Um, this car I'll show you is a one of one car. So out of the 250,000 give or take fare lanes that were built in 1967, only 5,428 of those were the fare lane 500 convertibles. And it further breaks it down for you. 26 of these cars were ordered with a special paint code. And then it breaks it down even further and shows only one of these cars had that particular tire size with white sidewall tires. Now down here, here's your scheduled build date. 2067 that we've seen under the hood chalked on the hood that's still there now if you read these statistics here for the Fairlane 1967 500 convertible only 41 of those cars were ordered with a special paint code so out of all the Fairlane 500 convertibles in 67 there's only 41 in total that came with the empty door tag for color this car being one of them um, there's no way to prove or disprove color so which means this car was ordered with a one-off color um, we bought some touch-up paint to fix up a couple little scratches and I think it was Lincoln cameo green 1967 so there's no way to show or to prove that this car could quite possibly be the only 67 Fairlane painted in this color from the factory. Um, which if it was, that'd be, you know, that's really cool. Um, but what I can tell you is only 41 of those 67 Fairlanes were ordered with custom colors. So we know it's, you know, down to at least 41. But up here we know that this car is in fact a one of one car. So accompanied with this information showing you the the title. Uh, it came from German Motors and Latrobe. So showing you all that, I mean it might not be a perfect car. I mean I know it's not perfect, but I also know that it's really close to to perfect. I know it's really close to the way it came when it was new. Um, it's a pretty cool piece of history. And just looking at, you know, things like the seams and stuff here, like they're just, you know, there's the factory sealer. Factory's little spot welds. I mean, you don't, you don't see that type of stuff. On a Fairlane car, or a convertible car, sorry, one of the other things you don't see are these little weights up here. A lot of people refer to those as cocktail shakers. I mean, those are pretty much non-existent. You know, my car, they're gone. They're long since gone. This car underneath is just in amazing shape. We had to stick a couple shocks on it. Um, it had a muffler, it had a muffler change, but again, it's, it's a stock replacement. And for something that we get to drive a little bit, there's no shame in that. I mean, a lot of them didn't even last any more than 10 or 15 years. So, let me give you a quick shot of the floor. Have a look at the floor underneath. So other than it being dirty with undercoating I mean it is really it is in really really nice shape here's an interesting little thing right on the headlights we have Fomoco the Ford Motor Company sign so we got the little signs on the headlights as you can see the the plastic park light lenses they're Fomoco as well and they don't have a single crack in them and they're super clear no, this just goes to show how, how well preserved this car really is. I 
So we're just getting ready to put the top down now. We'll throw the top down and go for a little drive. So the car's got a power top, as you can tell. And like I said, this is what was hanging down in the interior. This is the factory cover. That's what covers up your top. Definitely a pretty sharp looking car now with the top down. And we'll show you. This is the original boot cover and it doesn't show the snaps. The original 67 did not have the snaps exposed. The original 66 did and the replacement ones for the 67, they show the snaps as well. And I believe he's even got the proper bag that this came in uh, to go back in the trunk. So that's pretty cool as well. Nice sound still, I mean, geez. Sounds good and quiet. Sounds the way it should, really. Still can't get over the chrome. Mine, mine's almost as yellow as that tag. The chromes basically burn off in the sun. We're just going for a quick little drive. This is kind of relatively close to where we live. Just cruising right along here at like 40 miles an hour and contrary to what people believe these cars actually handle really well this car's got power steering yeah, i mean cruising down the road you don't need two hands on the wheel you, you don't need to chase it up and down the road if your car is like that it's, it's probably wore out i know i know mine is <laughs> we're just coming up on the on the valley here Nice looking scenery. Quite a look off. Nice day today. So my dad's had this car for about 14 years now. Um, he's drove it roughly 500 miles a year. I think he's enjoyed every mile that he's drove it. This is my father's favorite classic Ford. So when I get home later on, maybe through the week, I'll do another video and compare what a typical old 67 Fairlane looks like. Um, but for now, thanks for watching.